Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead readings. Welcome, welcome. This will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You can also cross watch. But always keep in mind the readings are general, so take what resonates, disregard the rest. Information on private readings is always in the description box below. And thank you in advance for liking, sharing, for commenting, for subscribing. If you haven't, we'd love to have you. It helps the channel grow. I really appreciate it. Keeps me motivated to do more readings. So thank you in advance for all your support. This is what's going on for Gemini in the week ahead. Gemini in the week ahead. In this situation, we have the King of Pentacles. In the challenge, we have the King of Wands. Interesting. Three of Pentacles crowning you. Death in the foundation. Queen of Pentacles in the past, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Yikes, what is happening? <laughs> Bottom of the deck of the Three of Wands. Um, this is like, I'm literally seeing two couples battling it out. <laughs> that could be the case for some of you, I don't know. Because I have the King and Queen of Pentacles and the King and Queen of Wands. Hopefully it's not some sort of a people in partnership. So where it's like two couples, but then somebody's cheating. I don't know. Like one person from one couple and another person from the other couple get together and it just causes a whole big mess just be mindful just be careful i don't know i don't know okay for others of you there could be some sort of third party interference that doesn't just have to mean another person um it's someone else getting involved in the relationship where they don't belong it could be someone's family it could be someone someone's work taking advantage of them and it takes them away from their family it takes them away from their relationship I do see butting heads. I do see someone standing up and defending what's theirs, whether that's their relationship or job even, or, but there is, there is an ending here. Now this could be a situation where someone's already moved on with someone else and the past is trying to come back. I don't know, it's a whole big mess. I'll get more cards out to clarify. But crowning you, we have three of pentacles, uh, too many chefs, too many cooks in the kitchen third party and in the outcome there's sorrow heartbreak separation abandonment loss because of attraction to something else or an external situation someone could be going from it also feels like someone changing their mind did you have this last week I feel like and it could be to do with a person but it could also be to do with a job or a contract they commit to they accept but it's like they're in this situation where it's stable right everybody knows this is what it is but they're kind of it's almost like they're still looking out for something else so someone is going from Potentially, you've accepted a job that is traditional, that is conventional in nature. It pays well. You know what to expect. It's not necessarily challenging you. It's not necessarily, you know, inspiring you. It's safe, right? There's nothing wrong with it. But it's not... It's not something that gets you excited, right? You may have taken this job thinking... You're doing the right thing and once you take it and you're like yeah okay I've decided you take this job it's secure it's stable you're like I'm doing the right thing but then it's like you can't stop thinking about something that really gets you inspired so it could be a different job if it is I feel like it's in a completely different industry or for some of you it will be you can't stop thinking about how you want to be your own boss 
but perhaps, you know, you did the numbers, you did the math, you talked to people, and you come to the conclusion that, you know, that's just not feasible right now. You've got too much going on. You can't afford to take it, take, take, take the chance. You're going to have to be practical. You're going to have to be a grown-up. You're going to have to do whatever, however it was phrased. Do the right thing. Do the safe thing. Do the respectable, responsible thing. Get this other job. It pays the bills. It pays well. And you're like, that's what I'm doing. And you came to terms with that. But you can't stop thinking about this other thing that gets you all inspired. And now you find yourself stuck through wands, through pentacles. You see how you have wands and pentacles? You have the three of pentacles with the queen and king of pentacles. And then you have the three of wands with the queen and king of wands. Why? Well, because it's a big decision between what inspires you what you're passionate about versus what's safe and secure and predictable and reliable and that could be two different people you're dealing with two different types of relationships two different types of jobs two different types of industries and you've got a big decision to make here gemini with the death card and the foundation I feel like for the most part, you're going to stick with the responsible thing, whatever you deem that to be. You're going to maintain the distance between what you're really passionate about and yourself. Because you either feel like I don't have enough money or I wouldn't make enough money. Or you're telling yourself it's not the right time. I don't know what you're telling yourself. But it's with a heavy heart. That you're going to stick with the responsible, traditional, the safe bet, the secure thing, the safe thing, the sure thing, the whatever, however it is you define this, right? So let's get more messages out here for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? Let's clarify these energies for Gemini, please. I also feel like if you're thinking of going after someone from your past, you'll find that they've already moved on with someone else and they won't even talk to you. It's like their partner's talking to you. They won't even talk to you. So that's kind of dead in the, in the water, you know? So, yikes. But at least you know. This could be vice versa as well. Jesus, this is heavy. Okay. So let's see. Let's clarify this for Gemini for the week ahead. So with the King of Pentacles, we have the Magician. With the King of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles. With the Death card and the Foundation, we have the Hangman. A lot of Majors out. With the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Three of Swords. With the Three of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Cups. And then in the Outcome, we have the Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Wands. I feel like, Gemini, you have people you're providing for. You have people you have to provide for, care for, whether that is children or extended family or whatever it is. It feels like you're bound because you have to take care of others. And that's a big responsibility for you. And it could be something that's been ongoing, or it could be something that has recently started. And it's almost like pushing you to say, I have to be the grown up, I have to do the responsible thing. I also feel like you're putting something on hold you're saying no to something, but you're aware of the fact that it's no for right now. It's a difficult decision for you to make. 
because what's on the other side of that is something you're very passionate about it's a dream of yours and I feel like you're saying no for right now but I will start this path that allows me to provide for others that allows me to pay my bills that allows me to save money and slowly put money aside towards what I'm really passionate about and maybe later on I'll give that a go once I wrap this up when I, once I'm no longer responsible for this I feel like there's an opportunity here for you Gemini to go after something you're very passionate about but it's almost like you're telling yourself I can't do that three of swords I can't follow my heart right now because I'm bound to my responsibilities I feel like especially financial in nature and you're saying no for right now it's a big decision because it's not going to be like you're not you're not going to be able to revisit this in, in a month two months six months it's it's, it's going to be a few at least a couple of years right before you can revisit this thing that you're passionate about if you're going to be doing that at all so i feel like it's with a heavy heart that you're choosing to do the responsible thing again however you define that it'll mean different things for everyone because you know for some people what they're excited about and what gets them you know happy and feeling content and optimistic is the fact that they have a secure job and they know what to expect for other people they might find that boring you know what I mean so it's, it's different things for different people so that's why I mean you take it as it makes sense to you but I feel like for the time being you're going to put your responsibilities first and your passion aside it feels like a big loss it feels like a very big sacrifice but you're going to do it because you have financial responsibilities either you have debt to pay banks mortgages other people you've lent uh, borrowed money from or you have people to look after to provide for and you're telling yourself this is not the time to be a cowboy I have to do what's expected of me for my family and with a heavy heart you're gonna turn something down that's your passion you're hoping you'll have another chance at it once your debt is paid once these responsibilities are taken care of covered but you don't you don't know that's why it feels like such a big loss you don't know you're trying to be optimistic you're trying to stay positive and say you know what maybe I'll try this again sometime but you don't really think you will you don't really think you'll have that chance that's why this feels like such a big loss Gemini there's a time and a place for everything and if you don't feel like the time is right for something for whatever reason there's a reason there right it just means it's not the time it's not the time but if it's something that is meant for you it will never pass you by you will find your way to it it will find its way back to you when the time will be right if it's a person if it's a type of job if it's a business if it's an idea it will find its way back to you when the time is right okay but yeah for now I'm seeing you having to I keep hearing just do the grown-up thing and pay my debt or do my duty this is not the time for me this is the time for me to do to take care of my responsibilities it's not the time for me to be you know following chasing dreams it's time for me to be realistic and pay my debt and take care of my responsibilities listen Gemini this is just a week that we're looking at yes I do see the decisions you're making now will have an impact not just for this week I do see that however this is how you feel and how you see things this week but there's more to the story with the seven of cups so for now do what you feel you need to do do what you think is the right thing for you to do right now and trust that what is yours won't pass you by when the time is right everything will come together and you you will be able to live at your dream you will be able to chase this passion okay it's all about timing here and right now the timing looks like is about 
taking care of your responsibilities, paying off debt, saving money. And once this cycle is wrapped up, and at the same time you can put money aside for your hobby, your passion, your dream, right? And when this cycle is wrapped up, then it can be your time. Do you know what I mean? But it looks like for you, this is a cycle, it's a phase of sacrifice that you're still in. You're still in this phase. You're, there's still sacrifices that you need to make here to wrap things up that have to do with debt or responsibility. Karma, even. And when that's done, then it will be your time. Okay? With the magician, don't give up, don't lose hope. It's a matter of timing. And I do feel like you're, you're getting that and you're doing what you need to do right now. But my point is, don't give up on it completely. Okay? Just tell yourself, it'll, it'll come together when the time is right. For now, this is what I have to do, but this is for right now. It's temporary. This is not going to be my entire life. Okay? That will keep you in more of a positive mindset. It will keep you ahead of the game. Right? And potentially speed things along as well. Because you're going to be giving it your all, right? So Gemini, I hope this helps. If you're dealing with these energies, let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Make the most of it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.